everyone here has been so engaged. Everyone here has been so interested in what everybody's had to say, which has been absolutely brilliant. Sometimes you go to these things and everyone's sort of half asleep. It's definitely not happened here at all. So there's a whole load of people here wanting to get into politics in whatever way it is who really do care about it. I think that's going to be really good. And I think as we progress forward, having more people who are that interested and have these great ideas and have these passions that they want to sort of delve into deeper is going to really help the industry. The Scottish Festival of Political Communication is so, so important because what we're hopefully, hopefully doing here is opening up spaces for other voices. Young people use their voice and put their words on paper, gives them agency and power. I feel like what we spoke about today, I feel like the main message is also almost just having that kind of like human centric to the way that you're speaking as well. And also speaking just in a very simple language as well, something that resonates with communities and almost just being able to centre their voices into what you're saying and also just being able to articulate in a way that has meaning so you're not just saying something it has action behind it, it has meaning behind it and that's where the real value lies. It surprised me in a way the, the fact that at first I came to it because I, I thought well I want to be a journalist when I'm older there's one of the panellists is an, an international journalist um, working in France I thought that that would be especially relevant for what I want to do when I'm older but then I was shocked by the, the other things which I found really, really interesting in, in terms of one of the panels on political education, um, in terms of getting young people into communicating more and, and confidence issues. A lot of people started out somewhere and ended up somewhere different, which I thought was really interesting and quite helped me because I'm a student. I'm still trying to work out where I want to go in life. And I thought that was really good. It made me feel better about my situation. Well, this first Scottish Festival of Political Communication, it's been built around our themes and our core values of democracy, diversity and employability. Today was about letting young people know that not only can they play a role in enhancing democracy, they can also forge a career path around our democratic institutions. We've brought together incredible speakers that represent the diversity of, and talent of modern Scotland. We've covered themes like what's important about the words we choose to lead by, what's important about the words we choose when we teach, what's important about how political journalism is written and consumed and takes place. Um, it's been a wonderful day. I hope we've set a precedent that we can grow. There's a huge amount of value here and I can only thank the Faculty of Arts and Humanities at Stirling University for all the hard work they've put in to create something brand new together with our sponsors, News Direct and Charlotte Street Partners. I am never going to forget today. Things like this didn't exist when I was starting my career, but I hope events like this become a regular occurrence to help young people have valuable and fulfilling careers. I'm delighted we've been able to work with our fantastic employability team to host the Festival of Political Communication today. We're hoping that this could be the start of some great relationships and perhaps um, future events like this. We have a lot of excellent students in journalism, in media and communication and in politics and policy. This is a benefit to them and it also helps us to bring a really exciting group of speakers, of professionals, people in politics and industry onto our campus to meet our students and staff and to network with each other. Politics and communication, like this is two things that probably seems different but like are just so interrelated that it's actually impossible to, you know, dissociate them in a way. So learning about the people that work in those fields and that actually also back up politicians and see kind of a bit like the composition of like the whole team it's so it's so rich in information and just like so amazing to see in a way so you know it's definitely uh, an amazing opportunity and also mm -hmm. i could develop as well coming to the end of the degree that we're doing seeing the influence that people who hold the same kind of degrees have had on the political landscape and the journalistic landscape is really, really it's profound and it's effectual and it's good for us to see. Political communication, we're supposed to know what we're doing. The reality is MSPs don't. It's a learning curve for them as it is for everyone. So it was fascinating today, both to get real experts who know and understand 
the cadence of speech, the design of a speech, the delivery of a speech, along with those who are talking so passionately about the subject matters and the lived experience of people that should influence politicians, you hone in on the crux of what today has been about. And, you know, I chose to take um, a quote from the Liaison Committee down in Westminster, a far-flung committee, where actually we saw one politician holding another politician to account over the choice of words that they make. And I think if anybody, not just young people, I think it's patronising to say just young people, I think that next generation, all generations, if we can just think about the words and the effect of how those words may be on their granny, on their next door neighbour over the fence, which we heard today, but also people who they consider to be their adversaries or evil or nasty. If you can take and think about the effect of that word, that's where you make a difference. We've been delighted that we decided to take an idea that was something that Laura Westring, our external partner, came up with a few months ago and we're delighted that we've been able to work with her to put together an exciting programme that has extended through the whole of today. The programme is designed for all students across the Faculty of Arts and Humanities here at Stirling. In particular, it had a real focus on politics, as the title would suggest, but by no means are they the only students who have been interested in this event. Um, the transferable skills of all of our students in all of our subject areas really has a direct bearing on all that was talked about today. It was really insightful today, especially because I want to do a master's next year in political communication, so it's really relevant in like what I'm interested in. And having like so many speakers from different backgrounds and on different topics was really, really great. And most of them are employers too, so you know it's it's good to get grasp an idea of like what's the market and what is our you know opportunities in the future once we finish to study i'm managing director of news direct political monitoring we employ graduates from every discipline uh, to uh, come and report for us on scottish politics so we're right at the heart of scottish politics and we're really keen to, to i suppose showcase um, us as a company um, but we are always trying to put ourselves out there among uh, young political graduates or people just involved, interested in politics who might not have studied sort of politics to try and showcase actually us as a possible employer um, or just we're also just kind of try, just keen to talk to people about the careers that are out there because even if they don't want to work for our company we might know, we might be able to signpost them to sort of something sort of good. So as part of our community engagement and, and just being a good purposeful sort of employer we just want to just get out there and, and 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 talk to young people about the craft of political communication because it it, it affects all of us it, it's it's our daily work but it's also you know it affects the general public i was really excited to come to this festival because it's not about politics for politicians it's about politics in its broadest sense and our particular interest is around education and young people and allowing young people to be their best selves, to live their full potential. And if we could allow this generation of young people to see that politics was a career, that they could be authentic and they could actually make a difference in the world, we'd all be better off. I thought it was really interesting. Like, um, I do like politics, but I've never really engaged with much political things, so I thought it was good good fun and I met a lot of different people like I've got loads of people on LinkedIn now it was I thought it was really informative it was amazing I love the energy I love the people and I love the conversations we've had and I feel very inspired to um, leave uh, this campus today thinking and reflecting a lot on the speeches really amazing speakers I mean, I'm 26 years old I mean I probably would have been at university at the same time as a lot of these young people and if you're willing to really build a confidence within yourself and to find out what you're passionate about and to go and grab it that you can make uh, whatever sort of, you know, not dreams or team, but you make that professional career that you'd like to tailor towards your aspirations in life. I have absolutely loved being at Stirling University today. I think this festival of political communication is brilliant. It's just great hearing all these ideas. So I'm glad that I was able to, you know, be on this platform and share a bit of, uh, of the story of my journey and also my um, observations of the, the, the Scottish media and Scottish politics, but also to listen to the other speakers, to listen to people in the audience asking questions. So it's been very lively, very interactive uh, and very enriching. 
writing is the key. I like to say writing is a human right. And them being able to use their words and being able to express themselves is going to serve them throughout life. So job applications, um, speeches, everything that they do, they need words and they need to be confident in the use of those words. And so that's our job. Every individual who uses their words matters and they equally matter. And I think young people and the students here really need to understand that from the start of their career rather than trying to get those accolades as the degree or a position in life before they start to believe themselves that their words are as important as they truly are. Words really matter. Words are a signal of our intent and we don't always live up to our words but I think it's something that we can aspire to and especially when we're looking at children and young people we know the value of words and that it matters and if you are talking to a young person and you say I believe in you that young person is going to respond far more positively. Words, I think words are phenomenally important. I would say that I'm a writer, I'm a broadcaster, I'm a journalist so I would obviously say that I'm I live my life by words, but it's not just the, the voices and the actual words, it's sometimes the silences. Who's not talking? Where are the silences? Where are the gaps? And what can we learn from that? And I think by having that approach, it gives you a lot of humility, which is a really, really underrated uh, attribute. Sometimes, especially in this digital age where words are really cheap, we underestimate the value of them. Communication is key, language is key, and the more we can relate to each other in a way that is empathetic, in a way that is human, as we've talked about today, in a way that is um, more inclusive, uh, can really, really change the way we do things at political level and also, of course, in a professional setting, even academic setting. I think we need to start looking at each other as humans beyond our roles and we need to start uh, actively listening and sometimes even speaking a bit less because we can learn a lot from each other. It was very enjoyable. Um, I don't study politics or journalism or anything related to that, but I think it's very useful to be exposed to um, you know, speakers in different fields that you're not usually used for, to because they can also inform uh, whatever you study or work in in a, like, a very productive way, let's say. Mm -hmm. And to add on to that note, there's this, to, to what she said, there's this quote which is, uh, was it, we have two ears and one mouth, so we should listen more and speak less sometimes. And mm -hmm. I think there's a lot of value in people that you talk to. And with this event, besides the, the great talks that were given, there's also opportunities to, to speak to the, to the people who were giving the talks as well as other students. And I thought that was a, a great aspect of this talk where you could like talk about the topics that you'd heard and I think that's very valuable. Certain words make people feel in a certain way and I think it's it's very important to remember that people will remember more how they feel rather than the words you used. So choosing those words carefully to make sure that those people feel, you know, not threatened or, you know, put on the spot or maybe offended even because sometimes, you know, you don't realize the caliber of certain words and how they can touch, you know, other people because maybe in your experience it simply doesn't touch you but that doesn't necessarily mean it wouldn't touch someone else. So I think that's something that, you know, all the speaker kind of touched upon and I thought it was very, very important and I'm, I'm definitely going to use it in like my day to day. The reactions today have been great. I think people really enjoyed the talk. Um, and I think they enjoyed hearing what the next generation, what we think the next generation needs to succeed. The biggest takeaway as well was just having, almost kind of giving me that confidence to be able to share my voice as well. And I think that was really important what was said as well, encouraging children from a very young age to be able to be critical thinkers as well. I think that's so vital. It's a really important role in society to, to have that authority to be a disruptor. So you've got to use that that power wisely and sensitively, you've got to do it in a way that makes sure that you don't go down the obvious line, that you ask the lesser asked questions, that you really do canvas opinion and hear the, the quiet voices as well as the big, loud, shouty voices. It's all about networking and just showing that there are a lot of careers that in political communications that not everyone knows about and really getting the word out about that but also just networking with uh, other people in the community and finding more people in the policy and political sphere. It's important to kind of understand where people are coming from and everyone you know shares different perspectives and have different backgrounds so I think what he really meant was like you got to understand where the person is coming from before kind of starting to tell them what you want them to do or 
whatever that might be as an employer or as you know uh, a customer or as an employee so i think that was very interesting you know um, the fact about engaging with people and not communicating to people necessarily to not be afraid of you know what makes you specific and what you can bring to the table i think as journalists sometimes um we we, we hesitate uh, and we think that we have to sound like everybody else write like everybody else cover the same things as everybody else but actually uh, i think there's room for everyone in journalism because we need that diversity of perspectives of points of view for me a lot of my education in university has been about reading uh, journalism and articles, but it's great to hear it firsthand, you know, from experienced members of the industry. The power of words. Uh, we've heard lots of great examples from people with years of experience um, across multiple different industries. And the main takeaway, the main sort of point has just been the power of words and how words can be used um, to influence people for the better, for the better. But we're a public affairs agency, um, so we engage with stakeholders and we communicate around politics on behalf of our clients. Um, and that's why an event like this, a Festival of Political Communications, is so relevant to us because it's about the unification of communications and politics. It's been a, a great change in the country. Um, well great I suppose depending on who you ask um, but I mean really kind of significant historical moment this week with the new first minister coming in we've got a new cabinet um, the makeup of the cabinet is very different to what it's been before um, and I think I suppose in terms of your kind of leadership and politics we've, we've got a very kind of one-dimensional idea I think of what politics is in this country um, and this conference is kind of hopefully going to open the door a bit to people that would maybe consider a career in politics but don't really know what they would like to do, which was very much like myself coming out of university. I didn't know this job existed before getting it. I'd never heard of account management or political account management. One of the speakers said today really resonated with me quite a lot. So it's the idea that if you are a business in trouble, um, perhaps you put out a bad statement on social media or a football club or perhaps you're, you're a business who's not looking very good in the public eye at the minute. The worst thing to do is to be silent because that creates a vacuum for their negative press. But I think that my interpretation of that, I, I don't believe that I want to work in, in the fitter state for kind of businesses, things like that. I want to work for more meaningful journalism. So I think that what it, what it says to me is that any problem, any cause should be talked about and should be brought up. It's not really an option just to ignore things, it's best to engage with other people and talk about them because if you create a vacuum of silence then you're not going to end up with the consequences which benefit anyone.